The topic of this video is the importance of taking your power back, reclaiming your lost energy, and cutting cords of attachment to sources that are draining your energy. Um, this is actually something that I recently, like, I've obviously I've heard of it more than a few times, but I've never realized just how important it is and how much of an energy vampire it is. Like, um, for instance, we may not realize that by being a listening ear for our friends and family, we are being drained of our energy. That, like, even though they don't, you know, mean to be energy vampires, that is exactly what that is when somebody is constantly using you to complain to, to vent to, to unload emotional baggage on, more or less. Um, it is draining of our energy to allow them to do that because what happens is they leave the conversation obviously feeling better and lighter but we leave the conversation feeling heavy and drained and you know bogged down by all of the the baggage that they just you know put on our back basically um and especially if you are consistently giving advice and guidance and they are 100% just not at all even listening to your guidance, then it becomes more than just an energy drain, but it becomes like a problem, okay? Um, it is very important to have boundaries as empaths with our friends and family because we are naturally the person that people want to go to and tell their problems to. I've had this happen with complete strangers in completely random locations. I mean, like the parking lot of the 99 cent store. Like, <laughs> you have the most random people who are just naturally comfortable and drawn to you who will come up to you and just start fucking talking to you. And although it is, you know, sometimes it can make you feel good, but often it leaves you feeling less than you were at like so that is a drain um also any type of arguments that you get into uh whether it be on social media or in person or over the phone anybody that can trigger your emotions is effectively draining your energy as well and in that case, you're giving it to them freely. So when you engage in word battles and shit like that, you are giving away your energy to not only the person that you are engaging in the battle with, but everybody on both sides of this battle. You are you are just like, here, take my energy, take it, take it, take it. So that's a problem as well. Picking and choosing your battles is very important when it comes to being protective of your energy um so like i said anything that emotionally is able to trigger you is effectively draining your energy as well and then it's the same for positive things like when you engage in a you know a comment thread on youtube and it's it's uplifting and positive and it's all you know compliments and happiness that is something that adds to everybody's energy uh to your own to the person you're speaking to and to every Everybody who is in the comments you know um, so that's a good thing but like I said it is exactly the opposite for negative things and uh, some of the biggest energy vampires in our lives are our own family okay um, your best friend who likes to call you and vent to you for three hours long and you literally are just like doing it out of like what you feel is obligation that is one of the biggest energy vampires in your life okay because what does it do it does nothing positive they take none of your guidance they simply want somebody to vent to that is more or less being used so you have to really put boundaries up when it comes to people that you don't want to just outright cut off but are not understanding when you tell them that they are draining your energy um and then, like, you know, the person who is always sick, there's always something wrong with them, and they love for somebody to engage in the conversation so that they can talk about it. It helps nobody. It actually manifests more of that exact same situation into their lives, which I have tried countlessly to explain to people. What you think about, you bring about. What you focus on is what will become reality. So when you consistently like to stay in the mindset of a victim and you love to talk about all the things that make you a victim 
all you are doing is creating more situations that make you a victim. It is best for people who are actually experiencing, you know, illness and, and things of that nature to completely not allow yourself to think about it. Do not speak about it. Think and speak about the things that you want to be so. So picture yourself happy, healed, and living your best life. Talk about your dreams and aspirations rather than all of the things that are wrong in your life. Like it is so important that people understand this because until you do, you are perpetually creating your own fucking misery. And some people honestly thrive in that state. I myself do not. When I am miserable, when I am going through something, that is when I am completely, you know, where's Caitlin? Like, I go ghost because my misery don't like fucking company, okay? Um, And to be honest, I know these things. So when I am dealing with something, the last thing that I want to do is fucking talk about it, you know? Um... So I often, you know, go MIA for periods of time when I'm dealing with shit. And I don't really care to have to explain it. People think I'm really weird. They think, like, you know, I'm inconsistent or or whatever. But I I don't care. It's for my own protection of my own energy. And I do what I deem best for myself. So I just wanted to make a real quick video stressing the importance of reclaiming our energy. And this is something that you should do every day, okay? And I mean, it could be as simple as... Waking up, the first thing you do is you sit in silence for five minutes and you think to yourself, I call back all of my energy. I take back all of my power from every source known and unknown. I cut all cords of energetic strings to every exterior source known and unknown. Here and now, I rebuke all energy that is not my own and I take back my power. Something as simple as that. And just the act, the intention of what you're doing is actually what is powerful. Um, Intention is literally everything. And energy is also everything. So intend to take back your energy from all of the places that you have lost it from. And that's why it's good to say all sources known and unknown because... That way you're not missing anything. You could try to sit there and make a list of every fight you've ever been in, but really, what is that going to do? It's going to re- you're going to remember those instances, and it's going to almost create more instances like that. So it's actually better to just leave it vague and say all sources known and unknown. That's my personal opinion. Take it or leave it. Um, I'll be making a video more in depth on this subject in the future, but just for right now, because of how important it is, I wanted to at least get the, you know, point of it out there. So here it is. Take back your energy. Take it back. Take it back forcefully and, you know, with conviction and see how your life starts to change. Seriously.